Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you guys how to create this. Let's create a new composition. I am going to use HDTV 1080p settings. Create a new solid layer. We are going to make grid lines in this layer. Add the grid effect to this layer. Change the anchor width and height values to minus 30. Change both corner values to 120. Set border size to 3. Now duplicate the grid lines using Ctrl plus D shortcut. Increase the border values until you get small dots like these. Select the invert grid. Change the position of the grid dots layers. Now duplicate this grid dots layer and push it up a bit. Reduce down the opacity of all the three layers. Create a new solid layer now. Make sure the size is 150 by 150 and the background is set to white. We have to copy and paste these expressions to the box position to make the box randomly appear over the grids. Copy these expressions. Now open the layer position. Select the stopwatch by holding Alt key to get the expression box. Now paste the expressions we have copied. Change the anchor points values to 70 and 30. Now you can see the square is perfectly fit inside the grid. You can also see the box now randomly appears over the grids. Let's make this look even more cooler. Change the opacity to 0 in the beginning and set a keyframe there by clicking the stopwatch. Move the scrubber to 4 frames and change the opacity to 80. Now move the scrubber down to 20th frame and change the opacity 0. We have to add an expression to continue this keyframe loop. Hold Alt key and click the stopwatch. Click the arrow button, go to property and select loop out duration expression. Now we can duplicate the box layer to increase the boxes. Leave some gap between the boxes timing. You can add as many boxes you want. Now let's create the background. Create a new solid layer. Add the 4 gradient effect the new layer. You can use any colors you want or just follow my settings. Make sure you change the All Layers mode to Add. Reduce the background layer opacity to 35. Let's create a new layer for vignette effect. Set the color to black. We are going to create mask layer using the Ellipse tool. Select the Ellipse tool. Click and drag from the middle while holding Ctrl key and create an ellipse shape like mine. Now open the mask options, enable the invert and set the feather to 560. We have a nice vignette effect now. Let's create some circle shapes now. You can enable the ruler by pressing Ctrl plus R, drag two grids from the ruler for marking the middle point. Now select the ellipse tool. Go to the middle point. Click and drag while holding Ctrl plus Shift to get the circle shape. Open the circle options and turn off the fill. Change the stroke color to light blue. Set the stroke width to 8. Add dashes by clicking the plus button. Set dash to 130 and offset to 40. Now duplicate this circle layer. Now uncheck the dashes of this circle layer. Reduce the circle size a bit while holding Ctrl plus Shift to make it intersect with the dashes. Again duplicate this circle now. Reduce the size down bit while holding Ctrl plus Shift. Now add glow effect to the previous duplicated layer. Change the radius to about 130. Now duplicate the layer and reduce the size.
Change the stroke value to 2. Duplicate the layer again and increase the size a bit. Now duplicate the layer again, increase the size a bit and change the stroke value to 3. Let's create a new composition for the music. Place your selected music file inside this composition. Drop the music composition inside the main composition and make sure it's in the bottom. Now create a new solid layer and set the background color to blue. Add the effect audio spectrum to the solid layer. Make sure the new layer is below the vignette. Reduce down the opacity and change the blend mode to add. Now change the audio layer in the effects to the music composition. Select ellipse tool and create a circle mask by click and dragging while holding Ctrl plus Shift. Make sure the mask is slightly bigger than the outer circle. Now set the path to mask 1. Now just change the settings like mine. Change the frequency bands about 140 to increase the lines. Increase the thickness to 14 and reduce the softness to 0. Change the hue interpolation angle to 49 degree. Now increase the mask expansion to 1000. Change the colors like you want. As you can see the first visualizer works nicely. Now duplicate this visualizer by holding plus D shortcut. Now reduce the duplicated visualizer to below the third circle. You can isolate the layer if you want. Change the settings like mine. Reduce the frequency band a little. Reduce the maximum height around 2000. Change the thickness to about 22. I am changing the colors to pink and green. As you can see the second visualizer works perfectly. Now duplicate this visualizer again and reduce the size down between third and second circle. I am going to adjust the circles again. Now change the duplicated layer's frequency bands to 60. Change the side options to side A and display options to analog lines. I am changing the colors to green and yellow. Reduce maximum height and frequency bands. You can see how the third visualizer looks. Now duplicate this visualizer again and reduce the size down between first and second circle. Change the frequency bands to about 200. Change the display options to analog dots. Increase the maximum heights a bit. I am changing the colors to pink and red. You can see now we have nice dotted circle. Now duplicate this layer again. Delete the existing mask. Now use the pen tool to create a curly line like I am doing. Change the paths to mask 1 and the display options to digital. Change the start frequency to 3650. End frequency to 4300. Increase the thickness to 44. Reduce the frequency bands to 146. Increase the maximum height about 8000. Increase the thickness to 48. Change the colors to blue and purple. Now add the fast blur effect to this layer. Increase the blurriness to 228. This layer is basically for glowing effects based on the music frequency. Now create an adjustment layer and add the glow effect. Change the glow radius to about 100. Change the intensity to 0.5. Create a text layer for the timer. Now here we are going to add another expression to the text for following the composition timer. Copy this expression. Open the expression box by holding Alt key and click the stopwatch. Paste the expression. As you can see the timer works now. You can add the text for artist name and the song name. Create a new adjustment layer and add curves effect for adjusting the brightness. Now you can add a camera. Now enable the 3D for all the layers except adjustment layers, background and vignette layers. Now create a null object. Click and drag the ring icon of camera into the null object, so that we can use the null object for controlling the camera. Enable 3D for the null object. Open the transformation. Click on the stopwatch of orientation while holding the Alt key to open the expression box. Copy and paste this expression into the box. Now make sure the adjust layer of curves is at the top. As you can see the camera moves randomly now. Add another camera.
Use the unified camera tool to get a view like this. Now you can change the circle's position to give a 3D look. Use the selection tool and arrange the circles according to the heights. Push the glowing audio visualizer layer to the front. You can also change the artist name and song name location to make it look nicer. So basically that's all for this tutorial guys. You can play around with the settings to get better results. Make sure to delete the second camera. So basically that's all for this tutorial guys. Once you render, you will get the result like this. Hope you enjoyed learning to make this 3D audio visualizer. Hit the like button if you find this tutorial useful. Leave a comment if you have any doubts or suggestions. Make sure you subscribe to watch more tutorials like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.